Have you ever wondered why you feel sluggish mid-session or why recovery seems to drag despite all of the right exercises? It might not be intensity of your workouts. It could be, honestly, what you're drinking. So in this video, we're going to be diving into the game-changing benefits of hydration and salt. So get ready to revolutionize your performance with the right fluids before, during, and after your workout. So let's unlock the secrets to optimal hydration and transform how you train and recover. So, who am I? Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm a guy who knows his stuff. I've helped over 100 people lose 50 pounds. I've lost 150 pounds myself, had surgery. Here's my certifications, blah, 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 blah. So welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, I'm kind of like your go-to coach for turning in your fitness hurdles into milestones. Most of the videos that I'm making that you're watching have come from clients asking me these questions. So after helping 150 pounds and helping hundreds do the same, I've learned what you drink is just as important as how you train. So stick around to unlock the secrets um, of optimal hydration and peak performance. Now before we get into the video, okay, please stop, pause, okay, and just press the like button. All that's gonna do is help this video. Because it's, it, I know it would surprise you, but it's literally taken me three hours to make this very video that you're watching, which only took you probably like five minutes to watch. It's free. Just click, click the button. Okay, now moving on. Here's some clients that I worked with, blah, blah, blah. Now, intro into hydration. Hydration goes just beyond quenching thirst, okay? It's a cornerstone of peak performance. And we're going to start with the most overlooked critical part by a long shot uh, of any type of hydration, which is salt, okay? So the role of salt in hydration. We have three main ones, okay? Technically, there's like more than that, but this is like the three main ones, all right? So salt is more gen than just seasoning for stuff, okay? It's crucial for maintaining fluid balance and nerve function. So let's break down the, the three main types. There's the pink salt, right? There's the Himalayan stuff, um, which is rich in over 80 minerals, okay? Include it, but not limited to potassium, magnesium, calcium, etc. And this helps maintain uh, your balance to your body's pH and aids in helping or aiding in hydration efficiency. Okay, and then its minerals can also help enhance hydration and prevent cramps during not even intense workouts, pretty much day to day. Like everybody watching this, you do not consume enough salt and you do not consume enough liquids more than likely. Okay, number two, pretty popular option. This is like table salt or iodine salt. Um, so basically this plays a role in maintaining your thyroid glands health which regulates your metabolism and energy production it's a simple way to ensure your body isn't just hydrated but also energetically supported okay and then number three no salt or new salt uh depends like in canada i don't really think they have no salt anymore but they have new salt so this is basically a salt substitute these are ideals for those managing sodium intake without sacrificing performance so high in potassium and these alternatives will help control your blood pressure and support your muscle function. And this is crucial for endurance and strength. Okay, so by incorporating any of these or all of these or some of these, you don't need to have all of these into your hydration strategy. You can tailor your intake towards and support your fitness goals and enhance your nutrients absorption and maintain optimal performance throughout your workouts, but not just your workouts, like throughout the day. Okay, so now let's go into pre-workout hydration. So effective pre-workout hydration begins obviously before your session okay especially for those like working out in the morning i work out in the morning so i always recommend about half a liter of water mixed with your pre-workout supplement with salt if you're consuming now in terms of how much salt it's really hard for me to say without going into more specifics i don't want to give some number and then you're following it just like start with like enough to where it's like oh there's salt in this <laughs> um you don't want to like be, be consuming like the dead sea okay now when you have half a liter of water with your pre-workout this is an adequate enough of hydration without overloading your stomach making you feel soup like shit okay and then for those who for whatever reason you do not want to consume a pre-workout god bless you um and you want like more of a natural booth then you can do coconut water that's an excellent choice because it has high electrolytes in it um and that's going to prepare your muscles and brain for the upcoming exertion of your workout okay intra workout part one so during the workout hydration should come and support your energy levels without causing discomfort so for workouts that are longer than 50 minutes so any workout or any so any strength training that's lower than like 40, 45 minutes, you do not need an intra workout. It's really not needed um, because you're not really depleting your glycogen storage as that much. You'll 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 replenish it once you eat food as long as you're not doing some dumb shit like keto. Okay, but 
for those that are going to train for longer than 45 minutes, you want something like Gatorade or Powerade. These are good uh, as they replenish electrolytes and provide quick energy and replenish your glycogen, okay? But my personal recommendation for something like more advanced would be something like a drink called Carbolinx, right? Which is contains highly branched, uh, I can't say the, the, the word, cl click dextrin or cluster dextrin. I call it cluster dextrin. This carb source is known for its rapid absorption, so it's faster, right? And minimal impact on digestion. Right, because there's another one, multi-direction, that's like kind of messes some people's digestion up. So this is maintain this ideal for sustained energy. So intra workout part two, multi-direction and like this is basically going to break down like carb sources or carb powder. So there's multi-direction, there's cluster direction, and there's a combination of both. Right, but both carbs are used in sports drinks, but differ in structure and digestion. So multi-direction is quickly digested, providing rapid energy, but can and will spike your blood sugar levels. Cluster direction, which is the one that I recommend, or highly branched chain dextrin okay has a more complex structure leading to slower absorption providing sustained energy with less impact on a blood sugar spike okay so unlike gatorade which primarily contains sh simple sugars for quick hydration and energy cluster dextrin supports longer term endurance without the sharp spikes in glucose levels making it prefer chores for athletes or anyone needing sustained energy beyond 45 minutes so that's why i always recommend that okay now post-workout recovery post-workout I can't zoom out. There we go. Post-workout. It's crucial to focus on rehydration with fluids that off that offer more than just water. Okay, so skip the sugary drinks. You don't need that. You don't need like chocolate milk. You don't need a chug of protein shake right after. Um, and all for those with like a balance of electrolytes and carbohydrates. One brand that I forgot to mention that's really solid is uh, something called Element. I think it's E-L-M-N-T. Um, that's a good hydration complex formula. Um, and then what I was always recommend like post-workout, this is a mandatory, but for those that train really hard, um, if you get like an electric light mix, like an element, right. And you mix that with EAAs or essential amino acids, this will definitely help support your muscle recovery growth a lot more by replenishing your energy stores and more, and, and just help speed up the recovery process for the muscle that you torn down. Okay. Here's a reminder from a minion to add salt. Okay. Cause I know most of you are not going to do that. That's the biggest takeaway from this video. Okay. Now. Strategies like this can be complex, but you're not alone. So join the school community. It's going to be the second link below and share some experiences in there for hydration management. Or if you want, like if this is really complicated or you have like obviously probably like a weight loss goal that you want to help with, um, then uh, click the first link in the description below to schedule like a, a free consultation with me for like more one-on-one -on -one personal guidance. Um, so there's a, uh, I forget this guy's name from Sesame Street, right? Is it Oscar? No, Oscar's the green one. I don't know. Um, if you know the Sesame Street character here, give me the comment down below. But um, yeah, this is basically what the school is. Uh, it'll be the second link in the description below. Thanks for watching it all the way to the end of this video. If you found this helpful, um, you're probably seeing now on the screen like some more videos that YouTube thinks you'll like from me. Um, and subscribe for more because 98% of you motherfuckers are not.